So we're gonna sear this, we're gonna push right down, and this is gonna cut into our candy to make our strips for ourselves. Like that. Now all we have to do, very delicately, now it's still gonna be hot. All right, I'm gonna start pulling this off. Oh, comes off very, very easily. I take this. Now we need to make a circle for the crown that we're making. All right, after we make this, what you'll do, you'll hold on the bottom and then you'll start pulling at the top. We're just gonna rotate this, go about every, I don't know, two fingers, three fingers, however you want. You see how I'm holding near where I'm pinching? Wow, that was really, really country. And so what am I making? The thousand dollar question, what am I making? Well, Burton doesn't look like anything, but if we put it like this, we just made a crown, guys. And so it's gonna set up after about two minutes, and so I'm gonna put this over here, you can follow me in here. Finishing up with my third one, I'm gonna take this apple, and we need to go to the next step. All right, with the apple, I have a cool little technique for you. So first, a little bit of magic. I'm gonna take off the tops here. Now, come over, get your little melon baller, and you're gonna go right near the side. You're gonna take out a little ball, just like this. It'll come out. I'm gonna place this in our bowl. I'm gonna turn and do the same thing. We're gonna do this five times. We're actually gonna go for one more round. Who doesn't like a little victory lap here? So once we have this, take out the center. And use your melon baller just the same. And we want to have a little bit of an indention, so we're gonna do the same exact thing, repeating. But we wanna keep this form. All right, taking out my last one. Now we need to add some more flavor, right? Going in with brown sugar, and then also a huge glug of Jack Daniels apple. So going into a hot pan, just pour everything in all at once. All right, once it boils, we need to cook off some of that fire. There it goes, we're cooking off the alcohol and we're just gonna let this reduce down to not only infuse the apples with the alcohol, but also to make a caramel. All right, with our apples cooked, we're gonna strain off and use this liquid just in a little bit and take everything out. Look at the color, you see the difference in the color? So you're gonna take half of them, I'm gonna come over to some graham crackers because again, we're doing a play on a cheesecake. So I'm just gonna push these in. Look at the coloration. They got the whiskey in it. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm gonna finish off there. Now we need to coat them while they're wet. So from here, you're gonna take one and we're just gonna place them on our plate. And I'm just gonna continue the process, but man, those look cute. Get this one here. Take the last one out that I found and use the rest to come right over to my cheesecake. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna start placing these right on top. Spreading them out, you can do symmetry if you want. There's two there. All right, it's got that caramelness to it. Come and still follow me here. Now, we wanna make cheesecake bites. So how are we gonna do this? I'm gonna start pushing into the cheesecake. A no-bake cheesecake, by the way. You just push down, you see how it's kind of forming out? So lift out a spoonful. We're gonna come over to our plate. We're gonna do a little hide game. So now, you don't know what's in it. All right, with my last one, I'm gonna turn this over for you. Place on my plate, hide it. Now we're gonna go into the freezer, let those chill out for about 30 minutes, and then we're gonna use them for the final assembly. All right, with our cheesecake balls out, now it is time to do something really cool. I'm gonna use the leftover liquid, put in a little bit of sugar that we had from actually doing the apples. Look how, look, how good that looks. I'm gonna continue. And also, I'm a big fan of caramel apples, especially the suckers. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna pour in just a little bit of caramel, because we have the apples, we have the caramel. And that's gonna be in the bottom with the cheesecake. It's gonna be wonderful. Not really, I made it out of Werther's. And now, here's the big boy. So we're gonna sear this, finishing up on the third one. We're brulee in the top, and so it's kind of like a roasted apple, especially for fall, but we're doing it this summer. And so now the juices are gonna now fall into it. I'll lift this up, all perfectly roasted. We're not done yet though. I'm gonna add some of our cheesecake balls into it. So we have caramel. It's kind of slightly down the center. We have our cheesecake balls coming in. I'm gonna put that there, that one there. Placing the last one here, and I'm gonna do a little football formation. Pull this out, add my rest of my caramel and take the crown now. I know that, I don't know if you're like me, but I love the caramel apple suckers. So you're gonna dip in, you're gonna pull off, and then we're just gonna let that hang over it. So now we're satisfying a cheesecake caramel apple sucker apple. <laughs>
take this one, whenever you're doing it, and finish with the last one. A little bit sticky now. So just push down. And we're going to start wrapping this around. And we just want to cover up the whole roll. Now we're going to take this off. I'm just going to slide my roll off and we're going to undo the tape at the end. It's okay, there's going to be some pieces that will break off that's completely normal because this is very, very fragile. And we'll take the tape off on the other end. And now I'm just going to slowly slide this off of my roll. There we have our caramel tube and it's very simple we're just going to cut this into three pieces and put it closer here so if it falls it won't break we're going to place that on our plate and now we're going to cut continue cutting here. Place our apples here. Now I'm going to start placing my dough into my mold. We're just going to use our shot glass here to press that down. This is just a pie crust. We're going to come and put our caramel in the bottom. And don't worry if it's a little bit off. It's going to melt in the oven. All right. Now I have my apple. We're going to pull that apple ribbon out. We're going to lay this out and we're going to start at the end and we're just going to slowly Roll this up. It's okay if there's a little break in there. We're going to cut this, and now we're going to cut this in half. We're going to take our two pieces of apple, place them into our mold. I have some other apples already prepared. We'll just pop those in. We'll top with some butter. And we'll take this to the oven. We're gonna place this in a 350 degree oven, first for 15 minutes for the dough, and then we'll check the apples. Now, we're gonna take out our dough, and we're gonna flip out our caramel apples. Just place those nicely onto our plate. Time to put it all together. We're gonna to start by placing our disc of pie dough and we're gonna place our caramel around it. Our last one. And now we're going to put in our whipped cream, a sprinkle of toasted pecans. We're gonna slide in one of our apples some more whipped cream, more toasted pecans. Now we'll add in our last apple and a sprinkle of toasted pecans on the plate. We'll add a last little sprinkle of pecans. You can find all the details on this recipe on chefclub.tv. Now it's time to taste. Okay, so Make sure to go in slowly, get all that apple coated, flavor in there, get a little spray going on. I've got my cinnamon spice, some crushed hazelnuts, and some pecans. Get that crunch in there. Now I've got my dough. I'm just going to place it on here super nicely, just like that. We're going to roll this, just like that. 
We're gonna flip this over really nicely. Perfect. And to get in all of those flavors, you're just gonna roll one more time. Now I got my apples. I'm just gonna put that nicely. And give this a nice little fold. Okay, so I'm just finishing up my dough, putting it together. I'm gonna take this can and carve little circles. This will make the shape for our donut. Make sure to do this thoroughly. There you go, just like that. All right, pick them up slowly, making sure not to ruin the shape, and they are ready for our fryer. There you go. You're just gonna put that in slowly. Make sure that it cooks thoroughly. There you go. Now that our donut is nice and golden, we can take that out. Let that dry, and we are ready for our next step. Okay, so I've got my apple here. I'm gonna take out the middle core. Just like that. We've got our Baileys. Get a nice grip when you're going in there. And time for some dunking action. Make sure to go in slowly. Get all that apple coated, just like that. You can give it a turn or two if you need to. And slowly back up. Okay, now that we've got our first layer, we're just gonna dunk this nice and slowly, just like that. And bring that back. Now, we're gonna slowly dunk this guy in. Get another layer of white, just like that, nice and slowly. All right, we're gonna get one more layer. Nice and sturdy. There we go. All right, we're gonna put this guy down and on to our next step. All right, now that we've got our donuts, they're ready for glazing. Our cinnamon crumble. Put this nice and flat, just like that. And now we've got our Baileys that we're just gonna drop. As our last step, I just added some cinnamon sticks for decoration. You can find the rest of the recipe on chefclub.tv.